Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising. Weekly tarot reading June 3rd to uh, June 9th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle. And you can jump straight away to the spread. All right, so uh, the first card, which stands for the Capricorn's topic of the week, that will be uh, the Two of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which stands for the challenges for Capricorn, that is going to be the uh, Judgment. The third card, which regards to the positive aspect of the week for Capricorn, that will be the Three of Cups. And the last card, which... Um, regards to the um, guidance the Tower is offering to you Capricorns. This is the devil which represents Capricorn. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, two of pentacles. It is the topic once again. Uh, then we do have challenges which are defined by the uh, judgment card. Uh, furthermore, that will be the three of cups which stands for the um, positive aspect of the week. And lastly, guys, uh, we have the devil card. That will be um, guidance for you. Okay, Capricorn, so um, I don't know what your expectations are, but that will be a rather more uh, carefree week than anything else. Okay, not major things are really to happen, like a, a major breakthroughs, grant achievements, and these kind of stuff. But apart from that, guys, it seems that it's going to be quite of a cheerful and as well a very dynamic week, if uh, I may express it that way. So first of all, uh, with the topic here, Two of Pentacles, you are going to be rather quite productive when it comes to career, when it comes to relationships as well, and empathizement with people, you name it. That is due to the fact that you will always be able to make a good timing with your projects, with your deeds, um, with your responsibilities. And on top of that, you are to be quite adaptable to the situation. Uh, that is due to the fact that at probably at the start of the week, that is, you're going to figure out that some of your ideas, plans, are rather uh, fixed, that is, uh, fixed ideas and fixed plans are rather uh, more, are appearing more as a, a predicament and setback than as something that can stir your growth. And that's why you may um, not be surprised to find out that there are your, your plans for the week uh, themselves are going to undergo a, a certain transformation or a change that is. But the best thing that you can do or a best productivity that you can achieve throughout the week is as you go day by day. I mean, you just take on things as they come around instead of being, you know, biased about what could possibly come around, okay? If that makes, uh, if that makes sense. The accompanied card here, that will be the uh, Seven of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we have. And um, a Seven of Swords adds a little bit more um, grim shade to the Two of Pentacles. 
that you may um, feel that you are a little bit undervalued or rather like that uh, the results are not coming as fast as you want them to come around. And the Two of Pentacles is not really a card of a uh, a, a big uh, a big breakthrough, just like I said. And uh, at that point, at uh, this week, the way I see things for you, Capricorns, is it a week where you have to take it easy? I mean, you 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 should rather be focused more on what you enjoy rather than uh, you know what is kind of like placing your back against the wall, if I may express it that way. But uh, yeah, uh, additionally to that, with these couple of cards, it will be good you to associate yourself only with the, those things or people which are actually appreciating your efforts and those who are taking you for granted, well, they can simply, you know, sit on the, um, on the backstage, if I may express myself that way. So, uh, this leads us to the uh, to the challenges here, actually, which is the uh, judgment card. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the reason why the week is not going to be that big or as big as you want it to be, because the judgment as a, a challenge it does point that a does either the circumstances or the resolution to the big breakthrough you want. It's not cooked yet, all right. It's not. It's not ready. It's not yet manifested itself enough, or if I have to put it uh, in another words, its time is not around yet. It's not throughout this week, and that's why, if you try to to push it at any cost, um, as hard as you can. Uh, well, maybe you are to achieve certain results, but they're not going to be as good as you may have further into the future, you know, the means necessary. So the card here itself points that the timing is not right for the grand, uh, for the grand push of yours, you know, for execution of your business, you know, or the marriage, you name it. It depends what your grand achievement or kind of grand aim goal is. This week, it's more focused on the peripheral activities, which does not depend on your grand goal. The accompanied card here that is to be the uh, Knight of Swords and the combination that we do have, it is a uh, active uh, friends. So the Knight of Swords itself, it's a rather positive card, but when it's in a negative position or rather challenging position with the judgment, I point it points to recklessness, really. It's it's kind of like that. I don't know how to describe it, really, but let's say that the uh, the resolution or the verge of a milestone, uh, it is it is just one step ahead, and it's simply you can't find the right way to make that step or to make that decision and so on and so forth, and that can torment you from within. That can eat you from within. So that's why you need to let go of these. Um, <clears throat> ideas, fixed ideas, you know, fixed plan, at least for this week, and focus more on the peripheral activities. So let's say, you know, that you are chasing that big promotion, that big project at your work, and it is almost ready, you know, you're just waiting for the confirmation of your boss, and this confirmation isn't coming around, so you're, you're start thinking of the Maybe they had a change of heart, you know, or or maybe they don't see you capable enough, and that's why they are with the, they are stalling the project, and you tormenting yourself with those thoughts. It's not gonna come. It's not gonna make the project come to come around. Okay, but instead, what you can do is just focus on the small projects of that job. Have a your your good time with your colleagues. Have the good time with your family as well, and just let these grand scheme of things to sort on themselves until the time, the the, um, the appropriate time comes around for you to grasp on your opportunity. So yeah, your opportunity is not going to come this week, but that doesn't mean that the week is going to be um, negative, all right? Actually, it's going to be uh, very, very positive. 
because those of you who rather like to enjoy themselves and to inter to entertain themselves and to basically do whatever they like to do it's actually is going to be quite an exhilarating week and the very least guys you will have that moment to catch up your breath because like i said no major things are to happen for for throughout the week and yet you will have that good timing and adaptation to the peripheral activities so it means that you can even sort in additional things that can appear as a setback uh, from a peripheral activities moving on forward with the grand goal and with the grand achievement when you know the path is cleared uh, for you so that leads us to the next card which is the positive aspect here and that will be the tree of cups <clears throat> so the tree of cups it's a um, it's a trifling card from a sense of that uh, not major it does point that uh, your efforts are gonna come to a fruition, but these uh, but these fruits are not yet um, developed enough. So uh, that being said, I should add to the week theme or topic is that you can start planning over something new that it is yet not developed enough to be initiated but that doesn't mean that you cannot lead the negotiations about it you know or you cannot gather up the team for it as well when i said the team the three of cups here points that you can enjoy a, a very fruitful cooperations with your colleagues with your friends, uh, a good relationship, for example, with your wife or with your husband, with your boyfriend, with your family as well. And cooperation is the name of the game throughout the week because through associating yourself with people, uh, two things can really happen. The first one is that you can get an, an example, a, a very good and big example that is to open your eyes for something. And the other thing, in other words, to expand your vision. And another thing that you can do is really share a, a very good moment together, have that exhilarating time. And if you hold some sort of a grudge or, or let's say, despondent emotions within yourself, you can share those emotions with these people. And that will make your burden that you are carrying, you know, a, a one idea more lighter. The uh, next card or the accompanied card that will be the uh, five of wands formation. It is in an active enemy, uh, passive enemy, excuse me. And with the five of wands, it seems that you are to stabilize your daily routine as well. Okay, it's not going to be that unpredicted, uh, unpredictive, it's going to be more foreseeable as you move along. Additionally to that, the card points that these people that you are to associate yourself are gonna be your supporters for a quite a long time. And the best thing that these couple of cards are telling you is that you can sort out some disagreements with a friends of yours or with associates of yours, or maybe with your neighbor that you are arguing over something, okay? That concerns your uh, mutual properties, like the fence you have in your house, which is also a fence of your neighbor and so on and so forth. So the last card that we go for here, guys, that will be the Guidance, and we do have the Devil card. Okay, so the Devil here, it is more like a, yeah, it's a Guidance, but it does concern more, more the distant future rather than this current week. So the Devil points that as you attend to those peripheral activities and being rather cheer, carefree, cheerful, playful, you know, and, and well adaptable to the situation, you are to be able to establish a rather very good foundation uh, for your future development. A foundation which will allow you to obtain some sort of a, a power influence or simply the opportunity or the right to call certain shots. And that itself is to form a, a very faithful events or rather like, yeah, a very faithful circumstances, which further down the road will allow you to make a, a dream yearning of your soul to come true. The accompanied card here that is to be the Ace of Wands formation. It is a um, passive neutrals that we have. And with the Ace of Wands here, you get to decide uh, what direction you're going to focus this um, this energy of the devil, that dominions, you know, that power of yours. You can focus it constructively, you can focus it destructively. It is, it is entirely, entirely up to you. And as well as you can focus it on already existing things in your life, like fixing up your marriage, like uh, consolidating into your career, 
you can as well focus it, focus it into finding new love, uh, into starting a new job, um, executing new projects or new businesses. It is entirely, entirely up to you. But throughout this week, Capricorns, you will have to, like I said, guys, uh, attend more to the trifles, to the minor things, you know, to the peripheral activities in your life, sort them out, and then the timing for your grand goal or achievement is going to come around on its own accord. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 3rd to uh, June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.